Hey what's going on everyone, Kumo here back with another Yakuza 4 Remastered Guide. In this video we'll be going over all of Kiryu's gang encounters. So there are a total of, I believe, seven gangs. There's the Aqua Devils, the uh, Kamuro Phoenix, Kanto Gangster, Slum Dogs, Black Nightmare, Purple Killers, and Dark Clan. And um, how you basically do this is you go to Theater Square, Unlock gang encounters by triggering a cutscene, and then uh, the gangs will, the first gang will start to attack you. And then after you defeat them a certain amount of times, you go and fight their leader. They'll tell you where the location is. After I think a certain amount of battles, each gang requires a uh, different amount of battles that you do with them. To do the battles, it's just like a random encounter in the street. You'll see the gang with the right colors on. The gang affiliated colors and then you go up to them and you fight them it's like a normal street fight there's no cutscenes or anything triggers when you fight them they're just standing there so you go and you fight them and then uh, after a certain amount of battles the leader will say he's around or they'll tell you that the leader is waiting for you in X location you go and defeat that leader and then after that uh, you get into a random encounter again it doesn't have to be a gang encounter and then you'll get a uh, text message from the uh, the person that helps you out with gang encounters and then the next gang uh, rivalry will start so that's basically how it all goes down and how it works so this will be a step-by-step -step guide for each gang faction so I'll be doing this video in uh, different segments I'll be doing one gang per video where to how to start it where to go how to fight them where to find them and how to defeat them so this will be a multi uh, part video just because if I tried to cram everything in one video it would take probably a couple hours maybe even more so I don't really want to do that I just want to go in segments it would be a lot easier so without further ado let's start so if you are starting fresh what you're gonna want to do is Go over to Theater Square and then start the encounter. So this will unlock the gang encounters for you and everything in between them. So this this process must you must trigger this cutscene to even have gang encounters unlocked. Battles are fairly easy. Also, I recommend uh, if you are trying to go for the trophy with uh, Kiryu for breaking a hundred uh, weapons, I recommend doing them in gang encounters. You uh, basically have to break a hundred weapons that are on the ground and break them on your opponents, like by using them. So. If the if you bring weapons with you, it doesn't count. It has to be from the environment, or if an enemy drops it after you defeat them. Okay. So this is Akashi. He is the person that's going to be in charge of your gang encounters, and he's the person that will be rewarding you whenever you defeat a gang. So he's the person that will call you after you defeat a gang leader and tell you where the next look gang leader is. I'll be going over um, other things too. Alright, so right now, how you figure out if a gang is after you or if you defeated a gang or if you're like, stuck, forgot where you were, you go to your completion list, go down to gang encounters, and I'll tell you. So right now, the Aqua Devils are looking for me. And I'm going to show you guys a little, uh, kind of like a cheat, not a cheat, but like a manipulation, I guess, to have more of that rival gang members spawn because you'll be running around trying to find them and uh, you won't be able to find them unless uh, you spawn more of them and I'll show you guys how to do that after this battle um, so I'll explain it a little bit right now 
So how Yakuza 4 works in like the environment in the map is if you go inside a building or you, you basically trigger a loading screen. So it can be when you go inside a building or um, when you do a mini game or whatever it is. When you go inside there, the environment will do a soft reset and the same characters will not be around you like pedestrians or people outside unless they are uh, story related or um, part of a sub story or something like that. So see this guy right here, right? He's chilling there If I and all these people around me. If I go inside... If I go inside a store or something nearby, here, let's go down here. So we went upstairs. See how the screen's black? It's reloading the environment right now. It just does it automatically. It's not like a glitch or anything like that. See how he's not there anymore, right? So let's let's go to a, let's go to inside here. Actually, see how this guy's walking outside. If you go outside inside somewhere and then go in there he's not going to be out there anymore he's gone the game reset the environment and if you do that multiple times you are going to add more of that set gang that you're after you're going to reload more spawns of them in the map because they're getting rid of uh you're getting rid of environment by default and the game registered that you have um encountered a sub story or a uh, a trigger in the storyline and is is adding is adding that into the game so when you go inside go back out you're basically spawning more aqua devils which is a gang that we're fighting because we're that we are after them right now so after you do that they get spawned into the map uh, because the game realizes that hey you're doing something you're doing a sub story or whatever so they'll be all over the map now so do you, every time you fight a gang make sure you do that so this is what an aqua devil looks like right here so if you're ever having trouble trying to find these guys it's probably because the game hasn't spawned them in for you I know it's a little weird but that's how it usually goes down usually when there's a black screen or like the game is paused for a split second or whatever the game's loading loading the data or whatever so that's what it does during that black screen see right now black screen for a second is loading all right so that's enough about that that's how you uh get uh, things things in the game to spawn in general it doesn't even have to be for gang encounters it could be you know for let's say you failed a uh, you failed a um, revelation you just reload it by going inside a building and going back out go grab a cone stuff or something as well beat people with a cone Counts towards the uh, trophy for 100 weapon breaks. Alright. Also, there are things called gang emblems, and what that what those are, you need to get not a part of this trophy but a separate trophy is how to it's getting the gang emblems and it, you have to get a gang emblem for each gang that you have already defeated so let's say I defeat the aqua devil's boss main boss there's still gonna be stragglers after that in the main uh, main map anywhere wherever you go there's gonna be a couple of stragglers just random gang encounters and then when you defeat them, you'll get their emblem, and you need all seven emblems, which is all seven gangs. So, even after you defeat every single gang gang in the game, 
there's still gonna be stragglers and you can still always get the emblems from them. They'll just be random, uh, just like how uh, you get in random street fights in the ga game. It'll be, it'll be just like that, but they'll be gang members instead. Alright, so that's three encounters. So he's saying that he's stalking me over in Comoro Central parking lot. So that's the underground parking lot. So what you're going to do now is go to one of these things that go down. So this thing right here. But I recommend going to the one in Pink Alley because he's in the central parking lot. So the central side is right here. Or he's in the... Uh, Saki over in the Camaro Center parking lot. He's over in the east side of it. So, um... That's why, like, after you defeat a certain gang X amount of times, they usually tell you where their boss is, and... Um... He's over in that area. Or if you go to the other side and go down there, you'll have to walk across a whole lot. If you just go down in this side... Oh, run away. Get in there. Okay, cool. I don't want to fight him again. So if you go into uh, central parking lot, see right here? You, they're just standing right here. So, just turn around and they'll be right there. Only if you go towards the uh, uh, underground passage in the Pink Street area. If you go through the one like on the other side of the map, let's say like on, uh, you know, uh, where Sky Finance is, there's also a tunnel that goes down there, you'd have to walk all the way over here, all the way in from the underground, so, it's easier to just do it in Pink Street, saves you walking, so, yep, yeah, now you, what you have to do is just defeat their, uh, gang leader. has quite a bit of HP. Not too much though. Let's just tiger drop him. Get rid of him. Alright, so that's the first gang down. Alright guys, so that's going to be the first part. Um, Akashi's gonna give you a reward, and I will see you guys in the next part where we fight the second gang. And remember, if you guys don't want to trigger the second gang right now after, so, um, go to your completion list here. And if it says pink, that means you defeated them. And the next gang is unknown. How to make the next gang appear is getting to a random encounter and you'll get a text message from Akashi and he'll tell you. Alright, so that's it for this part. I'll see you guys in the next one.